In this final phase of CHIP, our precipitated and purified DNA can now be measured through a variety of techniques such as traditional PCR, quantitative real-time PCR, microarrays, and chip sequencing. Here, we will use QRT-PCR to quantitate the amount of protein associated with a specific gene locus with the use of specific primer sets. Multiple loci can be analyzed by using different primer sets. Start by making a master mix for each primer set that will be used, adjusting volume for your amount of samples. If using the Chromata chip kit, your kit includes a positive control human primer set. Two microliters of purified DNA sample template can then be added directly to the wells containing your master mix. For the input sample, first dilute the sample down to 1% of the original concentration before adding it to the wells. Using the input sample at full concentration will typically result in aberrant data. After performing RT-PCR according to the manufacturer's instructions for both the thermocycler and the DNA polymerase mix you used, the data can now be normalized. The final data is typically represented as a percentage of amplified sample signal relative to the input sample, which contains the maximum signal possible. More detailed instructions on how to normalize your data can be found in the support section of the Novus website.